you're watching Recoil TV's Gun Room. This week, we're gonna be talking about the Ballista Packs. Now, we've covered the Ballista Packs before. I've even gotten in a Santa suit and taken it on and off, but today, it's gonna to be a little bit more practical. Inside this one, we have some 3A plates, and we're gonna subject them to a little bit of abuse and see how it holds up. Stand by. All right, if you wanna put a lot of nine millimeter, at least in the general area of what you're shooting at, Micro Uzi, except no substitutes. Is it dead? Let's go have a look. Woo! Well, let's see how she did, shall we? <clears throat> All right, the thing about the Micro Uzi is that it is pretty hard to control, but we still have an awful lot of hits here on this. Let's see how the plate held up. Whoa, we have some dents. We do have one penetration here in the back. It looks to me like it's not a real penetration. It looks like it hit the bottom and just caught the edge. So this would be like if the plate, if it caught you like right here, but, but all the direct hits on the plate, we have some deformation, but we do not have penetration. When we look at the back here, we are seeing that one penetration from the bottom of the plate where it angled up. Uh, but nothing else on there. And if I pull out the other plate, I imagine that it's gonna be clean. Of course, it's on your back, right? Let's see. Oh, well, we have some that skipped through the plate and actually hit the back here, just, you know, cause that micro Uzi goes warp. And so it missed the edge of the shooter cut of that front, front plate and then hit right here. Actually, if we line them up, I'll bet you can figure out where those rounds came through. What was it missed this corner here and hit this plate here. But you know what? I think we can do better. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Stoppage, but it fell anyway. Let's go down to range. Now I can already tell right now that there's some stuff in the bag. I can, you can hear some rounds, some projectiles in the bottom there. Let's see how these plates did. Once again, we got an awful lot of hits in the back and the body side, except for that first one, still clean, doing what it's supposed to do. On this side, when the are stacked up, once again, everything caught by the plate. Your pack and your contents may be a little worse for wear, but these plates are catching bullets just fine. 